it's crazy and it says video it's why it's talk about guys who don't look after their kids you know so you're a type of guy you've gone out there you've shut someone else's door and you've actually not decided to look after their kid okay because maybe you didn't want a kid the kid turned out to be ugly the kid wasn't mixed and you're black the kid was the kid was mixed and you're white you know what I mean? And there was so much confusing stuff and you decided not to look after the kid. Now, the first thing we have to understand, we're gonna, I'm going to talk about a few scenarios. First scenario is, you got pregnant, you're a girl, you get pregnant. A guy tells you, hey, Chloe, why do you have an abortion? So you're like, why? And then Steve says, Chloe, I think you should have an abortion because I'm not ready to, you know, take care of the kid. So Chloe, you're like, um... No, I am never having an abortion, okay? We never agreed about this. And then Steve is like, oh, look, you told me you are on a pill, but somehow you managed to get pregnant. Then you're like, oh, stuff happens, okay? Chloe goes, stuff happens, okay? I don't care, okay? We, we, I'm gonna have this kid. I'm not gonna have an abortion. That's murdering a kid. So that happens and you guys argue about it. Obviously, because Steve still wants to smash you and have free sex all the time, he says, okay, that's fine, I'll look after the kid. So the kid pops out, comes out the day, Steve sticks around for a week and then Steve leaves you. Well, he doesn't leave you, he still pops up and comes around and shags you, but he doesn't really give a flying fuck about you. But let's look into this. Whose fault is it? It's not really Steve's fault and it's not fully your fault, but it's all your fault. It's all Chloe's fault. Cause Chloe, we understand we're living 27 in, okay? 27 in. This is the most present year ever. So everything now has to be a bit civilized, okay? If a guy tells you, you know, you're pregnant, you just found out, you told him you're on a pill, all right? Or you have got an implant, but obviously you were lying. You just want to smash him and get that mixed baby. That's understandable. That's what you want. But the guy just told you, hey, Chloe, I don't want a kid. Why don't you? Why do you have an abortion? Okay? He's trying to tell you, and he gives you a reason. He says, I don't want a kid because I can't take care of him. But obviously what he means is that he still has a lot of other girls to explore, to find out who oh, can be the mother of his kid. And obviously that's not you. But in, in a real sense, he has the right to tell you he can't take care of the kid yet, okay? So you can't force him to take care of the kid when he says he's not ready. That's forcing someone. But you kept on and you decided to have the kid and now he stayed for a week and left. So girls, this the first scenario is the girl's fault. A lot of girls do this. They will go out there, shag this guy, black guy, want that mistress baby of course. The guy doesn't want one because he still has a lot of other girls to explore, okay? And then you, he tells you though. If someone tells you that I don't want that kid, you don't make them, you don't force them onto the kid. If, you're, if you say you want to keep the baby, then please don't expect him to stay around. Steve has a lot of other girls to shag out there. Steve hasn't even explored, okay? Steve hasn't advanced his sex game. He wants to try all this shit he sees in porn, so that... Uh, he wants to try all the, he, he wants to try all this shit he sees in porn, then after that he will have a kid. But you are trying to ruin his life because to some guys having a kid is a very serious thing and they want to be good fathers more than their dads were but at first they want to fuck everyone everyone is entitled to fuck everyone if they want to as long as you don't get an std and you don't rape someone then you should be fine but if you're chloe and you're trying to get this guy to have a kid and he just told you listen okay i don't want the kid then it's your fault, okay? Girls need to stop doing that thing, okay? I know a lot of girls that have got themselves in that situation and now they're single mothers and no one looks after their kid. But when they grow up, they'll tell their kids or whatever that it was the dad's fault. Of course, it's not right that the guy left, but he warned you, all right? He told you that I can't look after this kid, okay? Maybe he doesn't like the kid because the kid's ugly, okay? But that's not his fault. He's probably ugly too. That's why the kid turned out to be ugly. But the first thing you have to consider is that if a guy tells you he's not ready to take to look after a kid, it's either you have an abortion. I'm sure abortions are allowed. Obviously, it's not a moral thing if you're a Christian or stuff like that then obviously keeping it and then the baby grows up without a dad and you're struggling in, in life when you could be out there also exploring different different dicks and living your life out. That's a serious note, that's something serious. So another scenario of guys who don't take care of their kids, let's call this girl Amanda. You smash Amanda, 
So Timothy smashes Amanda. He shags Amanda. Timothy shags Amanda without asking Amanda if, if Amanda is on a pill or she's got an implant or any family planning, whatever. Timothy doesn't even wear protection because he's kind of a dumb fuck and all he cares about is sex. So Timothy and Amanda, they are both horny. They haven't talked about the kid situation because they don't expect to get pregnant. She doesn't expect to get pregnant. They just want to shag and get it out of the way. So a few months later, Amanda, sees a back coming up and she's missed all her periods and now she's pregnant so she tells timothy that hey timothy you fucked me now i'm pregnant so timothy is in shock and timothy says um it's fine but really timothy doesn't want to he's just saying that because he still wants free sex like i said guys always do that take it from me obviously i haven't done that but guys do it so yeah Timothy keeps around and then Amanda is okay with it. They both they all seem okay with it. Amanda is happy obviously. She wants it. she didn't plan for it, but she wants to keep the kid. Obviously Timothy is probably lying. He's just saying it. Free sex. And then the baby comes nine months after. The baby has come and now Timothy is being shady. Timothy doesn't come to the hospital to see the mom giving pregnant because he says it's too gross or it's disgusting. But that's fine, it's understandable. I don't think I'd like to see a baby coming out of vagina too. But so, but then Timothy decides to come around a few times seeing the baby, but Timothy doesn't seem to support financially, physically, emotionally, he doesn't seem to care. So whose fault is it now? This fault, this time the fault goes to Timothy. Timothy said he was fine with Amanda having the baby. So Timothy, you have to fucking look after the kid as well. You both have to support each other. It's just not right to leave a girl to look after the kid by herself when the first time she told you about it, you seemed happy about it. If Timothy said he was gonna look after the kid, then Timothy, you have to keep your dick in your pants. Stop shagging all the underage girls out there and go and stay with your girl and look after the kid. It's just not fair. So in all fairness, Amanda is in the right. Because they didn't plan the kid, it was all a balanced situation, but the only person that's not keeping it balanced is Timothy, he's not looking after the kid. So that's fine, that's not, that's fine, it's not the girl's fault, it's the guy's fault, okay? But my advice to you, obviously, if you're a girl, do some research. A lot of girls complain about guys not looking after them. I've seen so many posts, man. It's very rare for a guy to be the one that's looking after the kid, it's obviously common sense if the woman is the one that keeps the baby in the womb then it's easy for a guy to take over whereas if you're a woman and you've got a baby or a girl you've got a baby in the womb then it's really hard to run away from the baby except if you have to find out a way to put the tummy your womb your womb on the side and run off but that's impossible so yeah um the, so to be fair if you're a girl and you're out there you're probably pregnant i would suggest that you have a talk with the person you're with. If you have anything in your idea that they're not, go they're not gonna be supportive, then I suppose you could find another guy that can look after you and the kid. Or you could try your hardest to make the kid grow up by themselves, okay? I think that's a good idea. I think I've done a great job. But obviously, if you're the girl that I talked about, you know, Steven and Chloe, you know, the first people I talked about, Steve and Chloe, then don't be, don't be Chloe, man, okay? Don't tell the guy you're in a an implant or a pill or whatever but really you're tricking him to get pregnant and make him look after the kid that never works it can work but how is the person you're with going to think about you they're gonna think this girl Steve is gonna think that Chloe played me okay it's gonna it's going to be on his heart all the time okay he'll probably find some point he'll do revenge on you and you won't like it so make sure like you talk about stuff like this with your boyfriend okay if your boyfriend is an ugly guy. I suggest you talk to him and tell him if the kid comes out, the kid's probably gonna be ugly like you. So that he understands, so it doesn't act shocked when the baby comes out ugly. Because I've actually seen a post on one of the social networks of a guy saying that the kid wasn't him because the kid was really ugly. But if you look at the guy's profile picture, the kid was ugly as fuck. So actually now it's wise to tell the guy you're with to talk about to the guy that you're with that you're ugly, the baby will be ugly, can we be fine with that? Then when he says he's fine with that, then that's fine, okay? Just make sure you talk about things, man. Don't get people trapped. Girls, please stop doing that. I mean, if you do it, obviously, it's not right. You know it's not right. It's not gonna end well. Karma is such a slug, you know, karma is gonna get you back. So, please, 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 don't trick anyone into having a kid and taking care of it if they didn't want it in the first place, okay? Good. I think I've done a good job today for the humanity of the females and the men out there that are eat, 
busy getting people pregnant. Um, I think I'll see you next time. Peace.